Hey guys, this is Vernier, and I wanted to talk about a hand where I made a post-flop read based on somebody's pre-flop range, or at least my perception of their pre-flop range. So this this hand is a full ring hand, but I think the general concepts apply in any kind of situation that you play. So it's folded around to a middle position player who over 54 hands is playing 70% of them and uh, is only raising 4%. So definitely kind of a loose passive type player who limps. Now, I've got a player on the cutoff who's playing 14-12 and uh, three betting 8% of hands. So this player is playing fairly tight aggressive. Um, I would say definitely not nitty full full ring. Uh, VPIP of 14% is uh, very taggish for full ring, but he isolates. So I think he's going to be isolating with all kinds of broadways and maybe like sevens and up in this spot. So I squeeze here, or I, I three bet him. Now, I should probably make it bigger. I should probably make it like 175. But um, it's funny how when I watch a lot of my videos, my, my bet sizing, uh, I think, is off. Comes around, and he calls. Now, when he calls, I think he's going to be calling with hands like nines, tens, and jacks. Um, possibly, I think seven and eights he might dump. Um, and maybe like king, queen, and ace, queen. So... The flop comes jack 10 5. Now, I also think that he's going to 4 bet uh, kings and aces versus my play here. He might flat with queens. So, uh, going to this flop, I think you'll have hand like king queen, uh, ace queen, jacks, tens, nines, and possibly queens. Now, on this kind of a flop, I mean, this like smacks his range. So I think betting and getting shoved on here would just be bad. So I check and he shoves. Now, given what we know about his range, jacks and tens are a big part of his range, but there's just no way he shoves with top or middle set here. Like, I would expect him to bet something like 150 or something. Uh, and if he was to bet that, then I would probably fold it because I would just say, all right, well, you know, good job. You've got tens and jacks and you flopped a set. I also don't think nines shove here. If he shoves nines here because he puts me on ace king, that's that would just be unexpected. Uh, nines have a lot of showdown value. So I would expect him to check back nines. And queens don't really make a lot of sense for shoving. So when he shoves, I just put him on the ace-queen, king-queen type hands, which are trying to make me fold uh, my ace-king, which kind of looks like what I have. So I am ahead of uh, ace-queen uh, ace and king-queen. So I thought for a second, uh, I ended up calling him here. And he did show up kind of exactly with um, ace queen was a big part of his range pre flop for isolating the limper and then calling my three bet. But he, um, yeah, once he shoved uh, a hand like ace queen or king queen, were the only hands that kind of make, made sense given all the action. So. Uh, the board runs out, and uh, <clears throat> I ship the pot, and I think kind of going through that hand analysis of like, all right, what does he do this preflop with when he calls the three bet? All right, this narrows his range down even further. If I check, depending on what he does on the flop, you can get a pretty good sense of somebody's range, and then you can make the right plays against him.